This mod serves as an add-in for Alex's caves, expanding its content with the addition of torpedoes and related equipment. This add-in introduces three types of torpedoes designed for submarines. The basic torpedoes offer a standard explosion, while the nuclear torpedoes deliver a powerful blast similar to Nucleeper. Additionally, the pulsar torpedoes trigger an electromagnetic explosion, repelling entities and disrupting all redstone systems within a two-chunk radius. This mod introduces a charming new robot companion, the Polaris. While the Polaris may not be overly concerned with your survival, its lightweight body allows you to send it flying by charging at it like a ball. Be careful not to mistreat it too much, as excessive hits might cause it to run away and abandon your friendship or disrupt your soccer game. However, if you accidentally hit it too hard, you can always heal it with a crunchy neodymium ingot. The add-in also includes a new helmet known as the Magnetic Helm. This unique headpiece has the ability to repel entities carrying metallic items in their inventory, such as zombies with iron helmets or even arrows. Additionally, it enables you to attract entities towards your helmet. By enchanting the helmet with universal magnetism, you can extend its effect to all entities, regardless of whether they possess metallic items. And new pairs of boots are available in this mod, the Ferrisline boots. Crafted from Ferrisline found in magnetic caves, these boots grant you the ability to bounce off any surface. Additionally, when you're on a metallic block, they provide a speed bonus and occasionally allow you to levitate, enhancing your mobility and exploration capabilities in Minecraft. In addition, you have now two new tool sets made of neodymium. The Azure Neodymium tools possess a repulsive nature and are equipped with a default knockback 3 effect. On the other hand, the Scarlet Neodymium tools exhibit an attractive power, drawing block drops towards you. While these tools are more durable than iron, boasting 1000 durability, they are slightly less powerful than diamond tools. If you prefer a more compact magnetic solution over the bulky magnetic helmet, you can craft a pocket magnet. This smaller, portable version of a real magnet can be kept anywhere in your inventory. Unlike a basic magnet that attracts in all directions, the pocket magnet features a north pole and a south pole. As a result, it attracts metallic items in front of you while repelling items behind you. Moreover, you can enchant the pocket magnet with universal magnetism to broaden its range to include other non-metallic items. The mod features the Pulsar Gun, a powerful weapon with effects akin to Minecraft 1.21's Wind Charge. This gun, with its seven charges, can emit shockwaves of magnetic force upon impact, repelling creatures in its path. However, users should exercise caution, as the Pulsar Gun can also inadvertently destroy nearby redstone systems. The Tectonic Plate Armor is a formidable set that offers resistance surpassing even netherite. However, its weight can slow you down significantly. On the plus side, it provides fire resistance and limits burns. According to legend, items on the ground near the wearer tend to heat up. The armor provides resistance to the magnetic burst of pulsar stuff, making it a valuable asset in challenging situations. Spells Lab is an add-in for RPG series, adding six new spells to the RPG series base classes. Adds Force Push to Arcane, enables players to push their target away, causing it to levitate briefly. Add Scorch to Fire, with this ability, players can set the area around them on fire, damaging enemies with fire spell damage and setting them ablaze. Adds Ice Barrage to Frost, players can unleash a barrage of 8 frosty projectiles in a cone, dealing frost spell damage to enemies within a short range. Add Stone Fist to Paladin, players can unleash a powerful projectile that deals both physical and holy spell damage, making it effective against a variety of enemies. Additionally, the ability slows enemies in the area of effect, providing crowd control utility in combat. Adds Holy Rain to Paladin, this ability not only heals allies within the area but also damages enemies, making it a valuable tool for both support and offense in combat. Adds Arrow Rain to Archers, players can unleash a volley of arrows that rain down in a targeted area, dealing damage to enemies within range. In the latest update, Archers has added a new Archer skill, Magic Arrow. Magic Arrow shoots a magical arrow piercing through all enemies in its path, dealing 1.2 to 1.8 damage to each target.
This mod introduces a dynamic aerial mechanic to Minecraft combat. When you land a critical hit, you receive a speed boost upwards, extending your time in the air. On the other hand, if you shift within 0.5 seconds after the hit, you'll maintain the flip motion and be propelled backwards. If you sprint within 0.5 seconds after the critical hit, you'll be propelled forwards. This adds a new layer of mobility and strategy to combat, allowing for more dynamic and acrobatic gameplay. In the latest update, Panda's Falling Trees mod has expanded its support to include mushroom tree types, this addition adds more variety and options for players to enjoy when interacting with different tree types in Minecraft. The Lunker's Torch introduces new torches to Minecraft that function similarly to regular torches but with an added feature. These torches not only illuminate the surroundings but also point towards the previously placed torch. This feature is incredibly useful for cave exploration, ensuring that players can easily find their way back to the entrance. This mod seamlessly integrates the features of the Minecraft 1.21 update into version 1.20.1, introducing exciting new elements such as the powerful mace, an armor plate, a trial key, heavy core, breeze rod, chiseled copper, copper grate, ominous effect, bogged, and wind charge. Luminous is a captivating Minecraft mod that breathes new life into the overworld. With a rich array of features, including 49 new mobs, a variety of building blocks, diable fire, decorative elements, and legendary monsters, Luminous offers a wealth of content for players to explore. Immerse yourself in the lush forest biome, where deer and butterflies roam freely, and squirrels scurry about. Delve into the birch forest, with its new tree variants and vibrant flora. Journey through the desert, discovering ancient ruins and encountering ambient crabs along the way. Encounter 10 new mob variants, each with its own unique behaviors and challenges. Lastly, brace yourself for legendary beasts, rare and formidable monsters that lurk in the wild. Defeating them rewards players with music discs or trophies, and those who have achieved the Free the End achievement stand a chance to receive rare, valuable items. This mod adds a block called the Crafter Bomb, which periodically spawns a mob called the Tracking Bomb. This mob behaves like a mobile bomb, seeking out monsters within a 32-block radius to explode near them. This feature can be particularly useful for protecting your home, especially in challenging scenarios like a zombie apocalypse. It's worth noting that the explosion caused by the Tracking Bomb damages all creatures, including the player. Therefore, it's not advisable to stand next to and fight monsters within the radius of Tracking Bombs, as this could lead to accidental death from your own tracking bomb. Particle Moths introduces moths to Minecraft using particle effects. Moths have a chance to spawn near specific light emitting blocks, including regular torches, lanterns, redstone torches, redstone lamps, and candles, but they will not spawn in rain or water. Moths will also attempt to spawn in a radius around the player, the size of which can be defined in the configuration. If the area where moths attempt to spawn is affected by rain or is underwater, they will not spawn. This mod is an add-on for Create, adding 13 new structures to your Minecraft world.
This mod introduces a mining helmet that emits light, aiding exploration through caves. The helmet's built-in light source eliminates the need for torches, enhancing visibility for the player. This frees up the offhand slot for a shield or totem of undying, providing added protection against threats encountered in the depths. With the mining helmet, spelunkers can delve deeper into the darkness with confidence, knowing they have both hands free for whatever challenges may arise. Tinted torches allows players to dye torches to different colors, adding a new level of customization to lighting in Minecraft. With 22 colors to choose from, players can create unique and vibrant lighting designs to suit their preferences. Sliding Doors is a mod that offers players the ability to add wooden sliding doors to their buildings, with a selection of 20 different models available in 11 types of wood. Whether you're constructing a cozy cabin in the woods or an elegant mansion, these doors not only add functionality but also a touch of style and elegance to your Minecraft structures. Decorative Wooden Lattices is a mod that enhances building customization in Minecraft. With 90 different lattice models, wooden walls, and frames, players can personalize their structures to suit their style. Whether you're looking to add a decorative touch to your home or enhance the appearance of your buildings, these lattices offer a wide range of options for creativity and design. This April Fool's mod adds a humorous twist to Minecraft by allowing villagers to kick players out of their beds. No longer can players selfishly occupy village beds, as villagers will now assert their right to a good night's sleep.